guys, it's Tom here from Richardson Marine. Uh, just want to run through our new Sea Cruiser 7100. So this is a new build. Starting at the back here, we've got a pair of 150 Suzuki's. So put them on the back. Uh, it's got really good fuel economy this. We're getting about 1K per litre uh, and still plenty of power. On the back here, we've got some really cool Eskies that we've put on the transom. So we've put one on either side. Uh, so they're little Yeti Eskies they can actually be removed off the boat. Moving through the boat, walking around here, you can see we've got it sitting on the Easy Tow alloy trailer. Uh, so that trailer, maintenance free really, it's gonna last as long as the boat will. This boat here, we've put the side door on it. Really good for getting in and out um, at home, but also if you're doing a little bit of diving as well, makes it really easy to slip in over the side. We've made it custom. Um, aluminium rigging station that actually holds a 300 litre esky as well. The benefit of that is you've got drink holders, rod holders, a little bit of extra storage up there. Um, it's also a really good place to be able to kind of hang on and lean against as well whilst you're fishing. So in this boat here we've got a really big live bait tank so this Teflon um, chopping board folds up gives us access into that. Uh, we've got a nice big uh, glass fronted window in there so you can view all your bait. Really cool feature on this boat, um, we've fabricated a custom um, rubbish bin. So it's actually a fully enclosed aluminium box. And then we've got a rubbish bin you can actually slip in inside. Um, we can wash all that out, it's got a little drain in the bottom of it. So moving forward, we've got the Evolution 360 rod holders. So what these just allow us to do, you can push this button here and you can actually twist the insert of the rod holder. Um, so 360 degrees. So really good if you're kind of deep dropping, um, you can move your rod tip to whatever angle you need. So moving into the cabin of this boat, uh, we've got the Shockwave suspension seat bases. So we'll put these on our own custom built uh, aluminium boxes. So they do have some storage in underneath with these hatches. So we tested these uh, seat bases out today and uh, they're really good. They take all the shock and absorption out of those waves. We paired them up with a uh, really good seat from Sam Allen. So these are a Laxon seat. So it's got your bolster, also your flip up armrest as well. Um, these guys are really super comfy. Moving forward, we've got a uh, little armrest that we made. So that's really handy if you're standing and driving. It just gives you a spot to kind of rest your forearm. We've got this Suzuki Precision Control. The really good thing about this new model of control is it's got the one lever mode. So you can hit this button here, move one lever out of the way and then control both engines with the one lever. Um, so really cool feature. Uh, and navigation, so um, this customer's decided to go the Garmin. Um, it's an 8416. So I've got two 16 inch screens. Um, so he's gone that, so he's got a lot of display. So it gives him um, plenty of options to split those screens up into, into any way. So you might use one for sonar, one for your navigation and your radar. The other Garmin Electronics, we put a four foot open array radar on this boat. He wanted to be able to find some birds. Um, it's already proven that it's doing that, so which is really cool. The transducer selection, this customer does a lot of deep dropping at the shelf. So I've actually put a three kilowatt transducer and we put that in our own custom um, alley fairing block on the keel. Um, so it's a CM599 transducer. Um, we expect to be able to see fish in kind of 700 meters easily. The other thing in this cab, so you've got the full V berth. So the two middle cushions there are removable so you can still walk up into there. And we've also fabricated um, a door that slips on here. So when he's away, he can lock that up. 